Rick Porcio, topvelocity.net. I got Stephen Godani here who wants to, with him and I together, we want to launch the top, at Top Velocity Pitching Tips video that I've done in the past to kind of answer your questions that you guys have. So at this time, I'd like you to go to Twitter and ask a question. Obviously, you know, put at Top Velocity and then hashtag Pitching Tips and we're gonna answer your question. So if you have a question to go out to me or Steven, um, we want you to do that and we're gonna start answering those questions. But today we thought we'd take this episode because we don't have any questions to go over some of the misconceptions that guys have coming here to 3X Velocity Camp. So just to give you a little background on Steven, Steven has been to the programs, uh, he's, or program. he's about halfway through college, wanted to come down here to train some more and work as an intern. And also, he has a place where guys stay with him and live with him to go through the programs or to do the 3X training here. So he's been hearing a lot of the misconceptions as he's been here for the past three or so months. So what are some of the misconceptions that you feel like these guys have coming into the 3X philosophy camp? A uh, big one I think that guys have a lot is they want, they're looking for the one tweak, uh, the one mechanic that they can fix that's going to get them throwing 95 miles per hour. And uh, they're not looking at the overall picture of uh, mobility, Strength, power, yeah. So, pretty much what I say is, and that's that's a common misconception. And not to, I mean, I guess I put a little smirk on my face just because I think it's it's definitely um, you're misguided. You got to understand that more than likely the reason you are coming to a velocity class or a velocity camp to work on your velocity is because. Not because you don't know what you're doing or you don't understand the biomechanics, um, because more than likely that's the thing that you've been spending the time on, but it's a lot because your body has some issues. So it's really for us to help you, and that's really what we do at the camp, is we have to identify these issues. And typically they fall into the realm, like Steven's saying, like mobility, uh, power production, joint stability. Um, but then, of course, motor control, motor coordination. But a lot of times too, I guarantee you, you would have better mechanics if you didn't have all these other issues that are really preventing you from moving the way uh, these high velocity guys move. Um, what do you think is another misconception um, coming into the camps? Uh, that they're not gonna have to put in the work. That they can take shortcuts and uh, it's not gonna take them that long to get where they need to be and that's just so wrong. Put in work, work. put in work. How could you ever think that that's how this, this whole process works? Like, I'm going to take a bunch of shortcuts and then I'm going to be an elite. Um, it, it doesn't really work that way. If what you're trying to be is the best in your field. You're trying to be the professional, right? The best in your field. Uh, the worst thing you could do is start on a path of just shortcuts. So uh, I think you're right. I think we all come into it thinking, uh, if I can just find a simple little way to do this, that's all I need and I'll jump in the season. And we typically, when we do camps that are closer to school, meaning uh, the deadline is, is even you know, right around the corner, like you know, the fall season's gonna start or um, summer ball's gonna start. And those guys that come into those camps, those are the guys that typically are more lost in those misconceptions. Um, and, you know, so those are the majority of guys we get. We don't get a lot of the young kids coming, looking for the long uh, term effects of this program. It's a lot of those guys coming in, can I get a quick fix? Now, I'm not telling you not to come in even if you don't have a lot of time because the approach is um, you have so much to learn. If you don't start now, you're gonna be so far behind. So come in immediately. Even if uh, you don't have a lot of time to do it before the next season, we can still do what we can and push it to when you get that time again and your off season comes back around. So yeah, I guess we just leave it at that. So then we're gonna try to keep doing these little uh, videos with your questions. Steven's gonna be um, following you guys on Twitter. So if you see him reaching out to you too, he's gonna try to keep the conversation going. But if you have any questions about what we do here at Top Velocity, or specifically about you and what you're dealing with, um, please put it at Top Velocity, um, hashtag pitching tips, and leave your question. And we're gonna try to keep this video or these, uh, these little episodes going uh, and come to you and hopefully they'll help.